The drama, Seven Great Civil Servant, is about the romance and tumultuous lives of the new recruits of the National Intelligence Service. The lead actors are Chuan and Choi Gang-hee, who play the roles of intelligence agents who must deceive each other. Despite their 10-year age gap, Choi gang -hee and Chuan are showing great chemistry on screen. With the increasing popularity of their drama, they are challenging its source of adaptation. The 2009 movie My Girlfriend is an Agent, starring Kim han and Kang Ji-won. The movie focused on the romantic relationship between the two NIS agents who had to hide their true identities from each other. The drama differentiates itself from its source by focusing on not only the romantic relationship between the new agents, but also the growth and lives of intelligence agents. They have squashed the claim that adaptations are never better than the original by surpassing the limitations of derivative works. The last episode reached the viewer ratings of 16%, surpassing Chonuchi and the Great Seer to take the title as the number one drama in the same time slot. There is a drama adaptation that's about to compete against Seven Great Civil Servants. It's That Winter the Wind Blows, starring top stars Cho in Song and Song Hye-kyo. This is one of the most anticipated dramas of the year because it will be the comeback production of both actors. Cho in Song has been away fulfilling his military duty, while Song Hye-kyo has taken a break from the small screen since the 2008 drama Worlds Within. This drama is loosely based on a Japanese drama, I Don't Need Love, Summer, uh, which was adapted into a movie titled Love Me Not in Korea in 2006. No Hee Gyeong, the screenwriter of That Winter the Wind Blows, as well as Cho In Song, asserted that this drama adaptation will give off a different feel from the original drama. Also, the story of Hojun told through the 1975 drama Tongi Bogam will be recreated. What's interesting is that in the modern interpretation of this drama, Kim Joo Hyuk will undertake the lead role, Ha Jun, which was previously portrayed by his late father, Kim Mu Seng, in the original version. Also, Kim Tae has been cast to play the lead in the drama Chang Wook Jung Lives in Love, which gives a modern twist to the story of a historical figure, Chang Hee Bin. In 1982, Lee Mi starred in Women's History Chang Hee Bin, and in 1987, Chun In Hwa portrayed the historical figure elegantly in 500 Years of Choson, Queen In Hyun. As for the 1995 drama Chang Hee Bin, Chung Sun Jung's excellent portrayal of the ferocity and brutality of the historical figure helped the drama reach 40% in viewer ratings. Veteran actress Kim Hee-su also played the role of Chang Hee Bin and was named Actor of the Year in 2003. In the 2010 drama Tong Yi, Chang Hee Bin was brought to life by Lee So Yeon. Some are showing concerns, claiming that the increasing number of drama adaptations is a sign of a decline in originality and creativity. We hope that the drama adaptations of 2013 add freshness and a little imagination to the original plots and captivate the hearts of the viewers.